Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous two videos, I shared you some information about baking. I'm not a professional baker. I just took some baking classes and started to bake cake, cupcakes, cookies and pizzas or anything that goes inside my oven for my family. These recipes work for me, so maybe it will also work for you too. Please note that these recipes are not the original recipes. If you love baking and want to make something good for you and your family then please try it. And this is my third video about baking and in my today's video, I'll share you the recipe of Always Vanilla Sponge Cake which works every time for me and I know for sure it will work for you too. So let's move forward to make the oiled based Vanilla Sponge Cake. Ingredients I'm using to make this oil based vanilla sponge cake are sugar, room temperature eggs, milk, sponge gel, self raising flour, baking powder. Cream of tartar, salt, any vegetable oil, and vanilla essence or extract. First, preheat your oven. Take a mixing bowl and save self raising flour, baking powder, cream of tartar. You can throw the remainings and add salt and mix it well. In an electric mixer, put sugar and all eggs one by one. Sponge gel, milk, and mix for 7 to 10 minutes or until it doubles and becomes floppy at high speed as the electric mixer speed varies. While the batter is being ready, let's cut some baking paper to line in the tins. After 7 minutes or when the sugar is completely dissolved, lower the speed to medium and add vanilla essence and oil. And after 2 minutes, lower the speed to the lowest and add flour slowly. Okay. 
Now stop the mixer and mix the batter with spatula. Then pour half of batter in each cake tin. I am using 2 cake tins. You can use 1, 2 or 3 same sized cake tins for this batter and divide the batter accordingly. Note that the more space the batter gets, it gets more spongy and big. And give a little dab to both cake tins slowly. Now place cake tins in the oven for 20 minutes in preheated 170 degrees Celsius. Note that baking time may vary due to the difference of heat produced by other different ovens. If you are unsure whether the cake is cooked or not, then insert a wooden or metal skewer. If it came clean, then it's cooked. But if you see some batter sticking to it, then bake it more and check it again. When it's warm, then separate the edge of the cake with the help of a knife. The cake's end. Peel the baking paper and let it cool completely. You can leave it like this or cut the top part of the cake like this. Now the cake is ready to eat or decorate. I'll share you the process of decoration in my next video. Thank you very much for watching.